hello gamers and welcome to a introduction to the Empire faction. Now, <clears throat> if you're wanting to play the Empire, um, this will serve you as a quick introduction to their legendary lords. So the faction mechanics. You can only take vampire counts or other human um, settlements. Um, except for Norska. So you can't take Dwarven or Orcs or anything for Orcs. Um, officers, Lords may be assigned into Officers, granting them a unique title and bonuses. Technologies, branches are linked to various buildings. So you're, that's your faction mechanics. Um, and as they all have different um, victory objectives. Top units is the Luminarch of Hish, uh, Demigriff Knights and the Steam Tank. Which are all pretty awesome units, to be fair. Typical playstyle: plentiful confederation options, allowing other empire factions to be merged with the em with the emperor's via diplomacy. Balanced unit roster with a wide range of options. It it's true we have a lot of options. Um, fractured empire, whereby the provinces of the empire are ruled by elect counts over whom the emperor has tenacious control at um, tenuous control at best. Uh, numerous enemies so the empire is split but you are struggling to hold to everything so <clears throat> your faction leaders so you can have the emperor Cole France himself who is a powerful melee fighter in late game you are able to unlock uh, Deathclaw who is his griffin mount which is on the box cover um, which is quite powerful um, faction effects plus two range on all characters, minus ten upkeep to Reich Guard and Great Sword units. Um, starting the units, uh, halberdiers, handgunners. So you got some um, some range there, and some Reich uh, Reich Guard. So you've got some cavalry, some range, and some um, hard hitting out um, halberd infantry, which is. Um, good against defense against well cavalry really or you can play as Balasar Galt um, he is a powerful wizard of uh, the lore of metal uh, gold to be pre precise by looking at his face um, faction effects so battle wizard capacity plus one so you can have um, an additional wizard upkeep he reduces the upkeep for all wizards so you can have five for the cost of four Starting units, um, outri outriders, which are um, ranged and also on horses, so they're cavalry. So you can have them circling around the units as they furiously trying to uh, catch you, but can't because they're on foot. Great swords, damage dealers, and a mortar. So two ranged units, one that you can actually maneuver around, and one that you need to stick in the back. And if it gets caught. It's going to go down really quickly, um, but you should position it well. It shouldn't take a few battles to realise what goes first. So, um, nice selection of lords. So you've got the overall emperor, um, or you've got Balsar Gelt. Now this has been a quick reduction, uh, quick introduction to the um, to the lords of the empire. Uh, this has been me, Ryan, the Dogman, as always. So. Look into the line of notes for all the social media and stuff and the donation page if you feel like donating to this channel. Um, please share with all your friends because if you share to one extra person we can make this community grow. And send me any messages of anything, any videos that you'd like to see on the Total War Warhammer game or anything else that you want to see and I'll be more than happy to obliged English would be nice and I'll be more happily uh, happy to oblige you with those requests so do all the YouTube stuff gotta love it see you in the next video happy gaming guys